Okay, search for another roommate. My friend Mike says, hey, I think I got a guy for you. I used to work with him at this place, a real good guy. He's a chef. He's ran into some hard times. He's living in a homeless shelter. He has a good job. He makes this much money. But he'll be able to pay you like a month in advance. Now, I'm pretty desperate at the time. That's why I needed a roommate, right? The guy calls me up. He tells me he's coming at one time. He doesn't. He calls me like two hours later and tells me he's going to be there in another two hours. I don't like the fucking guy already, right? I, I, not just because of that, just the way I was speaking to him on the phone, you know. He lives in a homeless shelter. He had to get his stuff, blah, blah, blah. Guy comes over. I show him the room. Yeah, everything's all good. About 10 minutes later, you know, I, I want to try to make him feel comfortable on it. So I, I step out of my room. As soon as I stepped out of my room, I got hit with like, a bag of garbage mixed with shit and spoiled milk. He just like hit me right in the face. I was like, what the hell? And as I walked closer to his room, it got worse. I said, dude, what's the smell, man? What smell? <laughs> you don't smell that? Like, yeah, you have to smell that. This is like my neighbor on the fucking third floor could smell this shit. You know what I mean? I'm not exaggerating. This was bad. And uh, he said, I, I don't know. I just took a shower. I looked at his sneakers. Oh, dude, you got to get rid of the man. You got to get rid of his like, sneakers. Right? Put him in a bag. I give him a bag. He puts his sneakers and socks in a bag. And, you know, this, you don't want to be talking to an adult, you know, like this, you know, tell him, now you got to go in there and wash your fucking feet, you know, goes in and washes his feet, sits on the side of the tub, grabs the soap from the soap dish, and I left, you know, blah, 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 he washes his feet, I go back into the bathroom after he's out, and I see the bar of soap, the white bar of soap, filled with like the black dirty bubbles, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I wash, I rinse myself off after I use it for the next guy. It's just, that's the way I am. It's like sticking a freaking bar of soap up your ass and washing it and then just leaving it there. You know? <laughs> and I rinse it off. That's just the, the courteous, considerate thing to do. You know? And uh, he didn't. And I got mad. And I told him, how could you just leave that there, man? After you put that shit on your stinky feet and you're leaving it there for me to touch? Okay, so the next day, I don't remember who went to work first, but I was driving a yellow cab and I was in the city. I just remember thinking, I, I, I don't like this guy, man, already. Just, I just know it's not going to work. I got a bad feeling. And to get home from work, I got to put the TV on. I can't get the freaking TV on. I was trying for like 10 minutes. I figured it out eventually, after about 20 minutes. I'm like, this motherfucker was in my room, I was sitting on my bed watching my TV. So, I call him up and I said, what are you doing? I go, I asked him, was he in my room? And he goes, yeah, I wanted to watch the Met game. And he want to watch the Met game? Why didn't you watch it in your room? Ah, you had a bigger screen and everything, I thought it would be all right. I know you for fucking six minutes. You're gonna just walk into my room and just get comfortable on my bed? I didn't think it was a big deal. I thought it was cool. I'm like, oh, Jesus, this fucking guy. Hang up the phone and I, I'm just like, this guy, I, he gotta go. I look down and there's a squashed cigarette butt on the floor. And I, it, 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 uh, <laughs> going to the kitchen later on, you know, I, and I threw something out and I saw in the garbage can like six cans of beer and about 20 of those airline alcohol bottles all sorted. I, I'm not dealing with this guy. Call him up. Say, you got to go, dude.
What? Can't handle you, man. Cigarette butt on the floor. Oh, it must have been an accident. I don't give a shit, you know. I'm not dealing with you. got like 20 fucking bottles. I'm packing your stuff. <laughs> you can come and get it any time. You're not staying here, man. Take you and your fucking stinky ass fucking sneakers out of my house. 